Okay, so now let's consider um, a situation where we have a person climbing a ladder. So in this case, we have one more force of gravity. We have the force of gravity of the person in addition to the ladder. And so we'll need to consider that as, as we uh, consider what the friction on the ground is doing, what the wall force is doing. So let's, uh, let's assume here that the mass of the ladder is uh, 250 kilograms, the man is 80 kilograms, the ladder length is eight meters, and we'll say that it's making it a 60 degree angle to the ground. So let's assume that the man is three fourths of the way up the ladder, and um, we wanna find out again what the uh, wall force is and what the force of uh, friction is. So we have the force of gravity two, we'll call the man. Force of gravity one is the ladder. We, uh, we know we're gonna have a normal force coming up from the ground. We have friction holding it there. And then we have the wall force. So when we consider this one, it's actually, we set it up very similarly because, you know, we look at the forces in the X, force of the Y and the torques, all of those should add up to be zero um, in a static situation like this. So. We have a positive force of friction plus the negative wall force, just like we had before. We have the positive normal force plus the negative force of gravity one plus the negative force of gravity two. And then we also have the torques from the person from the ladder and from the... All right, so the lever length is uh, eight meters and it's a 60 degree angle. So in this case, we need to break down um, well, you know what the adjacent side is, it's four meters there. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at where, what the effect of lever, rank, lever, lever length is for the ladder here. And that's half of, half of the way, right? So the force of gravity of the ladder is half of the way up. And so um, the effect of lever length is two meters. And then the man is three-fourths of the way up. So the effect of lever length is three meters for them. And then in terms of the um, opposite side, 6.93 is the effective lever length for the wall force. So when we set this up, we've got the uh, force of gravity um, one, again, a, a clockwise rotation, um, you know, and then force of gravity two is clockwise as well. And so both of those are negative. And then we have the wall force there, 6.93 is the effective length there. And that's a uh, counterclockwise torque. So we'll end up getting 1,046.5 for the wall force and friction force 1,046.5 newtons. And then for our normal force, uh, 3,234 newtons. And when we bring those together, uh, Pythagorean theorem, 1,046.5 newtons for the X and then 3,234 for the Y for a total reaction force of 3,399.11 newtons at 72.1 degrees above the x-axis. And then we can find the coefficient. Um, so same way. So go ahead and hit pause and uh, go ahead and calculate the coefficient. And when you're ready to check, you can hit play to continue. Okay. so. And we should get for our coefficient 0.3236. Okay, so for this last one, we have a pulley system set up where we have four points of tension. And let's say it's 100% efficient pulley. And the mass is 35 kilograms. It's lifted two meters into the air. So what I want you to find is uh, what is the force that we have to pull uh, right here, you know, as we pull on this. And then also how far would we... Uh, pull on this and um, we can do that. So uh, this will be good review. So go ahead and pause and um, do your best here. And then we can, uh, we can check and you can hit play when you're ready to check. All right. So for our free body diagram, we have the force of tension split into four. And uh, so each force of tension would be only 85.75 newtons. And so we know that the work in equals the work out. And so what we're getting out of this is 686 newtons. This is, you know, with no machine and, uh, you know, work in, we can figure out how far we would end up pulling. So it's only going up two meters, but we're pulling eight meters. And so um, we can see that we're getting a mechanical advantage. The force is a lot less, but we have to pull, you know, a greater distance.